it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th. So right around the 5th, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Um, this is my new deck. I have sold 80 already, 80 uh, decks, and I ordered 110. So I have 30 more. If you are interested in one of those 30, I suggest you buy it now because it takes a couple weeks for them to come in. I want to thank you all that purchased the deck. As soon as they arrive, I will ship them out. So what do we have for around the 5th? If you'd like to buy it, the link is in the description below. I was going to say starting with a clean slate. I was because I decided to start with a clean slate here. So it's interesting. I was going to, but I was talking about the deck. So I do have, starting with a clean slate here, we have an unrequited love situation. Um, we may have somebody that is deciding to, uh, you know, step out of an unrequited love situation. Look at that. We have a dog and a cat. Um, anyhow. Uh, this is an unrequited love situation, all right? Um, we have somebody, this person obviously isn't really interested, right? Not really interested. I do think that we have uh, somebody that is probably deciding to, you know, go in a different direction. That's a clean slate, starting with a clean slate. Wipe it all out. The end. The end. And we have the end of an unrequited love situation. Okay? There's nothing there. Nothing. It's over. Knight of Cups reversed. Unrequited love. Don't want to be in this relationship anymore. This isn't love. I don't. There's no no emotional content, and I think it's probably going to be an emotional time. All right. This isn't. And when I say un, unrequited love, people automatically think that it could be their partner that they with that they're with. It could be somebody that you work with. It could be with your boss. It could be with your mother. It could be with your sister. It could be with your brother. It could be with your friend. It could be with anybody in your life. This is not emotionally fulfilling. There's nothing there. The end. Hidden agendas. We got somebody here that has hidden agendas. High Priestess reversed. Okay? This is somebody that is probably choosing to be alone. I'd rather be alone. There's been a lack of awareness. Somebody has been hiding their feelings. Hiding feelings. Keeping their feelings to themselves about a relationship that they're in. A secret is about to be revealed with the High Priestess reversed. Or the truth is about to be revealed. Somebody's been keeping it to themselves. But now I believe that it's time to act with integrity. It's time to do the right thing. There's no love here. It's, you know, I got to be practical. I got to accept responsibility. I got to do what I got to do. Queen of Pentacles is very solid, very stable, very loyal, very devoted, very hardworking, knows their value. So we have somebody here that has a lot to offer, knows what they have to offer, and is going to hold on to their value. This is somebody that is valuable and knows it. This Queen of Pentacles has a lot to offer. A golden opportunity for success. Right in her arms, right in her hands. And this is a he or a she. This is somebody that is capable of success and has the means to succeed without a relationship where there's no reciprocation. This Queen of Pentacles is going to be starting with a clean slate. This is somebody that... Uh, maybe choosing to be alone and this like I said male or female because the high priestess typically chooses to be alone we also have some we also I'm just going to change this up we may because this is reversed okay I'm going to change this completely I'm going to change this completely we may have somebody here that is because this is very self-sufficient energy 
This is the high priestess in the upright is somebody that chooses to be alone, very self-sufficient, doesn't really want a relationship, focusing on spirituality, focusing on themselves, uh, becoming a healer. You know, this is somebody that is uh, may teach spirituality or just is working on helping themselves and helping others, not looking for a relationship. This is an unrequited, they may have been in an unrequited love situation in the past. They're not looking for love, not looking for a relationship. This person is quite content, very independent. Here comes a relationship. You know? I mean, this, this is definitely the end of an unrequited love situation. All right? It appears that we have somebody here that does not want a relationship. Okay? Um, has chosen to be alone has a lot to offer I do believe that we have I feel like we have somebody that is that is coming in I do think that we have somebody that is coming in <laughs> not going to be alone not the hermit reversed it's time to reconnect. This is socializing, coming out of hiding. And this is opening up. Somebody is going to be opening up. I feel like we have somebody here that has been hiding their feelings. And they are about to connect. They are. This is the end of loneliness for somebody. And some, you know, you can be lonely in the wrong relationship. Sometimes it's better to be alone and focus on your spirituality. You get to know yourself. You get to love yourself. Anyhow, there's been a lack of love in the past. There is. This is the past right here. These are the past. But I feel like there is somebody coming in. Uh, somebody is coming in with an offer. It is a real, solid, stable offer. Could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The end of hiding, the end of being alone. We, that's what I got here. The end of hiding feelings. Somebody is not going to hide their feelings. This is the end of not being loved. There's going to be a change. This is my second reading. And I already did one, and it was the wheel of we had the wheel of fortune upright and the empress upright. This is the birth of a new life. We do have a beautiful, loving person here that is ready. The empress is ready, ready to give birth, ready for her miracle, ready for her blessing. She's ready. We had temperance as were as well, so there's divine timing. We had temperance and the wheel of fortune. So this it's it's a positive change. It's the end of a cycle. A new cycle is beginning. Get prepared for a positive change. Something is coming that you can hold on to. It's a very fertile time. It is. This person is completely unaware. Because, you know, it, and this is unaware. It is. The high priestess reversed. Completely unaware that somebody is about to show up. There's been isolation, there's been solitude, there's been re-identification, somebody, and maybe that's what's happening, somebody may be going within to re-identify themselves, there's two stories here, there is two stories, one story is somebody is ending an unrequited love situation where there's no reciprocation, it's one-sided, it's just not, nothing there, and then we have somebody here that is solid and stable that is probably receiving an offer. That's the way I see it. That's exactly how I see it. This came up in the other reading as well. All is not as it seems. Something is hidden and is about to be revealed. It's just below the surface.
This Queen of Pentacles is completely unaware that something is ending. It looks like she's in the darkness. She's in the darkness about a relationship. This could resemble fear. So we may have somebody here that is fearful. That hermit reverse this is uh, typically the end of loneliness, the end of isolation, the end of being alone. And this is a loner as well. I think the end of be this is the end of being alone. <laughs> I feel like there's been a delay. There has been a delay. And I think that whether the delay may have been fear. The delay of this person coming in. This person may have been in an unrequited love situation in the past. I do see starting with a clean slate, starting from scratch. What I what I saw in a minute ago was an open and close sign. So I feel like things are about to open up. Things are about to open up. Somebody is about to receive an offer that they don't, they are completely unaware of. And they're going to love it. And that's exactly what I got. Good luck.